Willkommen zurück zu The Adventures of Nick and Willikens. In der letzten Folge haben wir eine Zeugin gefunden, nämlich die Lieferfahrerin. Und wir mal weiter. Ob jetzt irgendwas sich verändert hat. Denn wir suchen jetzt zum Beispiel die Mordwaffe. Hier. Sir, it may please you to know that a lady from a delivery service of some kind has agreed to serve as a material witness in the forthcoming murder investigation. Why on earth would you think that would please me? You clearly don't know anything about the sort of things that please me. Like ice lollies and boiled sweets. How very English of you, sir. <laughs> yes, I thought so. Sir, I must insist that you allow me to look under your bed. Willikens, I've decided to try being indecisive. Uh, it's still warm from where the dog was lying. I'm honestly not sure if Master Nick has found a dog food that strongly resembles diamonds. Good raid on Petunia. Dursley. Zipfelmal, aggressiv hier. I see you managed to avoid being murdered. Perhaps our mysterious assailant believed you were already dead. Oh, I do enjoy our faulty towers as banter, don't you? Is it even worth my time asking you about the weapon that may have been used in the recent incident in our entrance hall? Yes. Yes? Well, in that your time is effectively worthless, so therefore anything you say or do would logically be worth more than your time, which is, as I mentioned previously, worthless. Yes, of course. Miss Petunia, Mum. Perhaps you're familiar with the murder that's recently taken place? Uh, no, it's not ringing any bells. Really? You didn't hear the scream? The stabbing? The subsequent arrival of not one, but two investigators? Uh, I'm a good little doggy. <sighs> I thought we'd agreed we weren't making any further Monty Python references. Uh, nobody will get that one. In any case, I can assume that, since you weren't aware of the murder itself... You can't possibly know why anyone would have had motive to murder the dead gentleman in question. Right. What you said. Not freundlich. Just hurry up and get through this, Willikins. It's for the greater good. Just lie back and think of England. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, is it? That and so much more. I scarcely have the words to fully quantify your loveliness, my dear. Well, perhaps you'd have learned them if you hadn't gone to bloody Cambridge. <laughs> Indeed. So, my lovely, would it be too out of line to request a very small favour from the most stunningly gorgeous creature I've ever laid eyes on? <laughs> well, I suppose not, but you'll have to do something for me. Name it and it's yours. Anything for you. Oh, give us a little turn round. I beg your pardon? Just uh, give us a good look at the whole package, if it gets my meaning. Nice and oh, slow. <sighs> Very well. Ooh, delightful. That one's going on the old WB, I can assure you. WB, Mum? The second word is bank. First word rhymes with that. Now let's see. I hid oh. that paper some time ago for young Nick's own protection, and I wrote down where I hid it on this paper. Here you are, dear. This appears to be in some sort of code. Yes, that's right. I used a decoder ring I got from an American cartoon show I rather fancy. 
Unfortunately, I lost that ring, so you'll have to get another. But that shouldn't be too difficult for the likes of you. I wouldn't have expected you to be a fan of American cartoon programs, miss. What you don't know about me could fill a bloody town, boy. Now bugger off, I'm done with you now, and I've important business to attend to here. Ja, noch mehr Suche, na dann. Why on earth would you have written this note in secret code? Honestly, sometimes I believe this entire family exists solely to make my life more difficult. Oh, so you've seen our family crest then? Why on earth would you have written this note in secret code? So müssen wir die ein bisschen freundlicher ansprechen. Uh, hello again, my dear. Oh, with talk like that, you're liable to melt the lead paint right off my knickers. Yes, rather. Could you remind me again why this note you gave me is not so much decipherable as it is the opposite of that? It's in a secret code. Like what the lovely Alan Turing used in the war. I used to babysit that clever little bugger when he was a nipper. Oh, good lord, exactly how old are you? A lady never tells, Mr. Willikins. Oh, 200 vielleicht. Das reicht. Können wir sie noch was sagen zu Zeugen? Good morning, you delightful creature. Oh, delightful, is it? You wouldn't happen to have seen or heard anything suspicious this morning around Master Nick's third breakfast time. Is that a bloody Tolkien reference? I've told you before, I shan't be having with orbits in my hall. So you didn't see a murder then? Only the matter of people's good sense. Those books are bloody boring. Da stimme ich Ihnen aber sowas von zu. Uh, was. So Miss Petunia, ma'am, if it's not too much trouble, I require the name of one of Master Nick's ancestors. Ooh, is this for some little project you're working on? The project of exonerating his lordship of the murder charges, yes. Well, let's see, there's me, of course. Yes, I know that one. But not in the biblical sense, eh, lad? <laughs> not due to a lack of trying on my part. <laughs> Uh, rather. Could you perhaps provide me with a second name, ma'am? Any ancestor at all will do. What am I, a bloody gynecologist? I believe you mean genealogist? <laughs> I'm not one of them, neither. Go look at a painting or something. The hole's full of them. Surely one of those pictures is of someone we're related to. Yes, well, thank you for your... I hesitate to say help, but in the absence of a more accurate word, it'll have to do. Gut, vielen Dank, äh, nervige Tante Petunia. Oder Großtante Petunia. <lacht> Gut, äh, wir haben jetzt hier diesen Code bekommen. Keine Ahnung. This is, allegedly, the location where Miss Petunia hid the certification of Master Nick's sanity. For reasons that are probably clear to her, it's written in a code that can only be deciphered using a special decoder ring from an American television program. Oh God. Oh, so Moment, oben hatten wir doch einen Fernseher, ne? Könnte vielleicht zufällig... Zumindest hat er das gesagt, irgendwie. Vielleicht können wir nochmal Nick drauf ansprechen. Nein. Jetzt können wir vielleicht beim Lieferdienst anrufen, ob sie so... dieses... hier so Dechiffrierding haben. I've gotten everything I need from them, and shocking though this may seem, I'm not keen to experience that bureaucratic nightmare a second time just for the fun of it. Oh, Gott, wo kriegen wir jetzt so die Schiffe? Bestimmt unter Bett. Hm. Wie kommen wir unter das Bett? Vielleicht. Hier brauchen eine Dechiffrierschein. Ja. La la la, bla bla bla. 
Ich mal in den Zimmer. Speisesaal, Verzeihung, schon wieder falsch. Kitchen. Hm. Findet sich irgendwo noch ein Hinweis auf ein Tabu. This magnet lists the telephone number for emergency services, which here in England is 999. Much of this plan has yet to be incorporated, so this is useless as a map until the bloody thing is completed. Which Assuming this goes as Master Nick's other projects are gone, it never will be. Hm. Wir mal noch draußen, ob wir da was finden. Findet sich ja draußen ein Briefkasten oder so, eine Dechiffrierscheibe. Wunderbarerweise noch nicht. Der ist bei dir auch nicht zu dechiffrieren gut. Hm. Ich kann dich kaum mehr helfen. Master Nick believes this is a TARDIS. Neither rain nor snow nor glom of knit will sein. Hatten wir schon mal gefühlt. Ist vielleicht bei Tante Petunia eine Dechiffrierung? Nein. Ich habe mit ihr ja schon freundlich und äh, aggressiv geredet. Richtig aber höflich mit ihr. Could you remind me again why I can't read this note that says what Master Nick said? Nein. Ah, da ist es ja. It's stuck on the channel that tells you what's on the other channels that aren't this one. Uh, auf die Piste. Die 1, wie die Piste. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hier war der Fernseher. Wohl doch nicht oben. Die Namen sind. <lacht> sollte man sich auch durchlesen, sollte man nicht durchlesen, ziemlich lustig. West oh Gott, das ist. Das ist schlecht. West Ham United ist ein bekannter Fußballkanal. Until someone can get out and fix the satellite aerial, I'm afraid this is our only option. Oh, well then, go ahead and bloody fix it already! Hm. War doch gerade erst raus. Kann man denn Satelliten? Wie kann ich denn eine Satellitenschüsse reparieren? Ich bin nur ein Sklave. Ja. Butler. Ein Sklavenbutler. Manservant. Okay, dann gehe ich jetzt mal die Satellitenschüsse zu. War hier nicht nur noch mal. This has been struck by lightning 37 times, which is three less times than I have. I can't see much point in doing that. No. Das Seil bestimmt, oder? 
I'd rather not if it's all the same. Kann man das sein, wie ich sicher bin? No, thank you. Oh. Das war nicht so viel. How would that even work? How would that even work? Moment, ich hätte eine Idee. Wir haben doch das Rattengift. Und in seinem Keller ist doch diese Ratte. Moment. Können wir bestimmt was mitmachen. Zumindest eine nette, eine nette Bemerkung. Zumindest ist das. Dining Room. Küche. Vielleicht etwas unsicher, weil von der Küche in den Keller kommt von dort was zur Ratte. Naja. Ich nehme mal das Gartengift. Du hast zur Ratte. I find it useful to keep something living down here to indicate if or more correctly when there's been a gas leak. Na, no, versuch mal selbst. Ähm, versuchen wir mal die Ratten. Ratten gibt da unten zu diesem komischen Gestalt zu tun. I'd rather not if it's all the same. Vielleicht können wir auch mit dem äh hier diesem Seil no. das sicher machen. Hm. No. One must admire its directness, I suppose. Keine Ahnung, ehrlich gesagt, was wir dort machen können. Können wir die Wurst mit dem Rat? I won't deny that the thought of poisoning my. Nein. Hm. Dann reden wir nochmal mit Nick. Nick reden ist immer gut. Petunia kann uns. Moment. Petunia wollte doch, dass wir ein TV reparieren. Dann können wir ja mit Petunia nochmal drüber reden. Wie wir das, die Satellitenschüsse reparieren sollen. Nein. Ich gedacht, dass Petunia so eine wichtige Rolle spielt. Oh, ich wollte. This would almost seem to fit the bill for Master Nick's required decision-making machine. Only this is apparently a normal 8-ball and not the magic sort. Den können wir vielleicht Nick geben, der wollte doch was Spezielles. Nein. Ich geb Nick mal den 8 Wittekins, are you trying to trick me into cramming that into my mouth? <laughs> Because I read on the internet that you have to break your jaw to get one of those out, and I simply don't have time for that today. No. I can't see much point in doing that. <laughs> so. The blueprint, vielleicht. Oh, jetzt bin ich wieder rausgetappt. Ich will, dass diese Folge noch passiert. No, thank you. Aber das sind doch seine Blueprints. No. Wow. I can't see much point in doing ich that. Ich rede einfach mal Nick. Also ich versuche eine Dechiffrierscheibe zu bekommen. Da würde ich die vielleicht einfach nochmal telefonieren. Ich kann nicht glauben, dass ich irgendwas übersehen habe. Das mit den Aktivisten. If it's all the same, I'd rather not put myself through that again. Dann vielleicht mit dem Doktor. Um, it's a crime to call 999 when there's no emergency. I already reported the one, and no further emergency has occurred since then, that I know of anyway. Vielleicht nochmal hier unser Detective. You've reached the offices of Clever Ruse, home of the great detective Clever Ruse. Speaking to you now is the great detective himself, Clever Ruse. Wunderbar, Clever Ruse. Mr. Ruse. Call me clever. Uh, rather, I was wondering if you could provide me with more information. Inquire away. Nein, kann er nicht. Ja. Verabschiede ich mich für diese Folge und sag tschüss mit uns.